Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss science involved around a burning candle like three states of wax, capillary reaction, is burning of candle a chemical change or physical change? Also, since festival of lights, Diwali is around, there is a bonus DIY. We will do candle making. When we talk about the three states of matter, we instantly think of the three states of water, ice, water and water vapors. But when we are burning a candle, we can observe the three states of wax. The candle itself is wax in the solid state. This thread inside the candle is called the wick. When we light the candle, the wick burns and melts some wax. We can observe the wax pool around the flame. This is the liquid state of wax. This melted wax rises up the wick via a process called capillary action. Capillary action is a process where a liquid moves up something solid like a tube or a porous material even against gravity. This wax now changes to vapors during extreme heat and gets burned with the flame. But wait, we have not yet observed the presence of wax vapors. For this we will do a small activity. Take two candles and light them. Allow the wick to begin vaporizing the wax. Now extinguish one of the candles and hold it little close to the candle's flame and you will see the flame travel along the wax vapors and we light the first candle. Let's now see if burning of a candle is a chemical change or a physical change. We know that physical changes are changes in the physical properties of substances like shape, size, color, state, etc. No new substances are formed in these changes. These changes may be reversible, whereas in chemical changes new substances are produced and these are generally irreversible. Burning of a candle involves both physical as well as chemical changes. Let's identify these changes. Melting of wax is a physical change. If we extinguish this candle, the melted wax would again become solid. This clearly is a reversible process and only a change of state and hence it is a physical change. Part of this melted wax travels up the wick via capillary action. Close to the flame, the temperature is so high, it gets vaporized and burns to give light and heat. It also produces carbon dioxide and water vapor. This burning of wax produces new substances and is irreversible. Hence, it is a chemical change. Now comes another fun part, making our own candle. For this, we will need some wax. You may also take old candles a cotton thread to make wick, old broken wax crayon shavings for giving some color to our candles, some popsicle sticks and paper cups, glasses or jars to set a candle. First we will make the wick. We can't simply put cotton thread in the middle of the candle because it will burn in no time, even before our wax gets a chance to melt. So we will melt some wax and coat this thread with wax like this. Never melt the wax on direct flame. Always use a double boiler method where you boil some water in one container and put the wax container on it on a stand. I would suggest to take an adult's help during all these steps. The wax has started to melt. Once the wax melts, Dip the thread in it. Let it soak for a minute. Remove it and lay it straight for the wax to cool. Our wick is ready. You can repeat the same steps to provide extra strength to our wick. Now you can cut the wicks of any size out of this. 
To make candle, we will melt wax along with wax crayon shavings of our choice. Set the wick in the middle of the glass using an ice cream stick and pour the wax. It will solidify in a few minutes. You can repeat this step with another color to make layers of different color in a candle. Make sure that the previous layer solidifies completely before we add another layer. And our rainbow candle is ready. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.